So if you have any questions about this video or any of us we produce or any questions about your TV, please leave comments below the video with your model number and your symptoms and we'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. So if you saw our other video on the Samsung power supply where we force the backlight, where we force the power supply to turn on, we're going to do something similar with this one. And in that video we mentioned that some of them instead of jumpering a 3 volt line or a 5 volt line over to the power on pin, some have a a voltage there that you actually have to short to ground and this power supply is one of those. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect it and show you how to uh, force on the power supply. So we can use this for testing if your power supply is defective as we can force on the back lights and check voltages. It'll also let you know if your, your main board has a problem. If your power supply turns on and is working correctly and it doesn't work when your main board's connected, we know that the main board is probably bad. So if your TV has even no power, has standby, or has no backlights, uh, you can use this to try and narrow things down. Since we can force the power supply on and check voltages, we can use it to make sure the power supply is geared and that the backlights are working correctly. We can also use it to check whether the main board is defective or not. If all the voltages are there and it's turning on properly with the jumpers, we know that the main board is defective. So the first thing we've done is we made sure we've unplugged the TV so it's safe to work on. And we're gonna go ahead and unplug the main board. And we just need to unplug the two cables that go over from the power supply, like so. And then next we're gonna go ahead and figure out where to put our jumpers. Okay, so we went ahead and put the TV back up just so I can show you the voltages here. And I got my black probe just in a, an empty screw hole on the chassis, just out of shock. And we can go through and we can check the voltages. So, like we expect, it says 3.3 volt standby and that's right there. Now on this one there's no power on pin. So usually you jump the 3.3 volts over to the power on pin and your power supply fires up. On this one though, there's a dot on the next pin down and that has a voltage. So like we said in the other video, there are certain power supplies where you need to short the voltage to ground, and this is one of those. So we're going to take that voltage right there, that 2.6 volts, and we're going to short it either to the chassis or more usually to one of the other ground pins on the connector. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and unplugged the TV, and I've just traced where those uh, the pin is for the, the 2.6 volts and also the ground pin, and I know it's pins 2 and 4. So I can go ahead and I've just got a little piece of wire and I'm gonna use the end of the connector that was plugged into the main board and just slide it in there. This makes it a little bit easier to do usually. So I put my jumper in and now we can go ahead and power on the TV. And in this case, it'll power on, you'll hear it click. And then after about 10 seconds or so, the backlights will fire up. So we can go ahead and do that now. Wait, yeah, hopefully the backlights will pop on in a second here. And there we go, the backlights just popped on, and as you'll see in this close-up with the lights off, you can see the white light shining through the empty screw holes in the back of the set. And usually on most TVs, you'll find a spot where you can see them. If you're not sure, just turn the lights off, and the lights are gonna be shining through the metal, they're not gonna be on a board, and it's always gonna be white light. Okay, so the jumper, the backlight's on. We're gonna take the 3.3 volt standby, which is the very first pin, and we're gonna jump it over to the other connector where it says BL on off. So that's the backlight on off command. And I'm just gonna take a piece of wire from that pin and jump it over to that one. And I've also got my uh, jumper in here from the that, that voltage we need to ground. So we're gonna force the power supply on, and then we're gonna take that voltage over to the backlight on. Okay. And here you can see the jumpers. There's my original one, and there's the one with the 3.3 volt standby going over to the backlight on pin. And now, let me reach over and plug this in. You hit a click, and then immediately the backlights turn on. So, as I said, depending on your TV, you may actually need to do this to force the backlights on. On this one, we got lucky, you don't have to. It just takes a little while before they turn on on their own. Okay, so we have our jumper in and the backlights are on. So we know right now that the power supply in theory is good, but we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna do a few tests. And so I got my voltmeter, and as you can see, I got my black probe, and I'm just 
popping it into a screw hole. And then I can go through and I can check the voltages. So we know the first two here are gonna be good. So turn on signal, our 3.3 volt standby. We can go down to the 12 volt line now. And we've got 12 and a half volts. Pretty normal, better half volt off, that's fine. So that means our main board should have power. And we can go over to the backlight, backlight signal. And we've got 12 and a half volts there, again, just fine. So we know that this power supply is working correctly. So at this point, if you didn't have any standby lights on the front and you had no power on, if you didn't have standby, we'd know that this power supply is good and the problem is with the main board. We have a standby here and we can measure it and we know if it's all working, the TV's turning on. If, for example, you had uh, sound but no picture, we also, at that point, we can tell that the power supply and the backlight inverter is working correctly. So if your TV has no power, so you have no standby light, we know in this case we have backlights, we can also check the voltages and we have standby. If this is the case, you're looking at a bad main. Go ahead and replace it. Go to Shop Jimmy and search your part number and order the board, give it a go, it should get you up and running. If you have power but you don't have a picture, make sure you check your backlights with and without the main board connected. If your TV has backlights but no picture, go ahead and try a T-Com board. If you have no backlights with or without the main, go ahead and try a flashlight test. Check the link for the video. In that case, either the power supply or if it has a separate inverter, the backlight inverter board are most likely defective. So if you try to jump on your power supply and you think you did it correctly and you still don't get the power to come on, you can't check any voltages, your backlights don't turn on, go ahead and replace your power supply as it's most likely defective. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at shopjimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comments section below or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button 